another mod we're doing. I'm gonna add the rear diffuser back here. It is a, it's got the car already jacked up. It is a ZL1 add-ons rear diffuser. There it is right there. Uh, this is the regular diffuser, so it's not that big. I didn't like that one, so I got this one here. And on my car, I have the non-threaded um, holes up under there, so I have to add the threads on mine. So I got this rev kit. I'm gonna go up under there in a the minute and show you what I'm talking about. You have a hole right here and another hole right there. I don't know if you can see it because the frame's kind of dirty, but there's a hole right there and a hole right there. So those are non-threaded. And if yours is non-threaded, you have to order the non-threaded kit and it'll come with this. And you just take your rev tool and insert it inside that hole so you can make threads for that. I'm guessing it's like a boat slash adapter thing, whatever. So I have my rivet tool here and I have my insert. I'm just gonna screw this on. And when I set it in there, I'm gonna squeeze and it should flatten out. So uh, I'll have a permanent thread. Now that's better. It worked. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little scared for a second. It's in there. That one's tighter. This one's a little bit loose. Let's see if I can. All right, we got both inserts in. The one on the right was loose when I did it the first time. So I just stuck the rib tool back in and squeezed it back down. And now it's tight along with the other one. Now back here, you gotta take off these four clips to mount the diffuser on the back. And just pop them out. The hardware that you have to use to mount it to the back. You have a bolt, nut, and I, I'm guessing these are washers. So we're gonna figure out how to put them on there. You need an 11 wrench, and I got a drill with a Phillips. Oh, that's what that's for. Guess you put this bolt in first, and then place this plastic piece on top. To make it stay in. 
That's what we're going to use it for today. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this. Come on, man. You don't have no space in here. I got the screws in here, but I'm trying to get the wrench in here so I can tighten it down. Okay, I think we got that one. Man, them back bolts was a pain. You didn't have no space to get in there and put the nut in there. I got it though. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take it out and give you a walk around so you can get a better look. I don't think I would have liked it with those rectangle tips on there. Check it out, guys. Yeah, that's looking good. excited about is I'm glad I got the tips put on first because I didn't want it sticking out just like the fuser is. It's kind of like sitting back. Yeah, they look good. Take y'all around. It's flowing nice with that wicker bill on there. Check it out on the side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, that's gonna be a wrap, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna try to get these videos out for you.